Hey guys, um, so this is the final look. I try to do like a Euphoria Alexa Demi. I think that's her name. I'm sorry guys, I don't really watch that show, but as you can tell, everybody is super inspired by the makeup of the show. So, and so am I honestly, because I'm a makeup junkie and yeah guys, this look was super beautiful. I don't know if this girl right here is Alexa Demi. Sorry if I'm butchering the name or if that's not even her. I just kind of heard that name floating around in accordance to whatever picture she was in. So um, this here, I don't know if this is her, but this look is freaking beautiful, dude. And uh, I try to recreate that right here. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I hope you really enjoy this tutorial. Honestly, I would say, I would honestly call this a classic, I guess a classic, easy, euphoric look. Um, yeah, guys. Um, I hope you enjoy. My name is Sandy J. Like and subscribe if you like um, content that has to do with mental health, fitness, makeup, all that kind of good stuff because that's what we are here for. That's what I'm here for. I'm just sharing my journey on this platform in hopes that others uh, could resonate with me or I could help somebody out. So yeah, guys, I hope you really enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I really enjoyed filming it, even though it was a little difficult because I haven't filmed an intense tutorial like this in a minute. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoy. Hey guys, I wanted a voiceover for this part of the tutorial. Right here, I am using the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer as a nice little base to soften everything up before we uh, powder and get going on the foundation. Um, well, at... Oh, kitty. Sorry, guys. That was my cat. <laughs> but yeah, it's something I like to do as a little base so the makeup could go on nice and smooth. Um, I'm just kind of like, you know, just letting it soak into my skin and whatnot. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for that part. Um, and right there. <laughs> um, sorry, guys. But right here, I'm using the Airspun Loose Face Powder. I like to lightly powder my face before foundation i know it sounds weird but it's a little makeup artist hack that i recently found and it's so like oh honestly guys it's so bomb i would totally recommend if you have normal uh dry combination skin it works super well for me and everything that i use i love this step it's essential for me now right here i'm just brushing up my little browsies before i clean them up with the concealer i like to use concealer uh, when I shape up my brows or for the eyeshadow base um, Right here. I am going to use the elf hydrating con camo concealer in light sand and right here um, You just see me cleaning up my little browsies um, I wanted to speed it up because Yeah, it would have been super boring and super long. I do take a while on this step just because I'm super I'm super precise when I clean up my browsies and um but yeah, I was super heavy handed today as I could see, but I'm not always that heavy handed, so don't judge me guys. But yeah, right here I love to do my eyes first. I'm an eyes first type of queen. Um, that's just how it is with me. So yeah, and then, <laughs> sorry guys, I'm a dork. Anywho, um, I'm using the Airspun once again to kind of set that base on my eyeshadow. Um, I mean for my concealer in preparation for the eyeshadow. <laughs> yeah guys. Um, Right here, I'm just lightly powdering it on. I'm really precise. Um, I don't like to have any sort of tackiness. It depends. Tackiness is cool, but it just honestly depends sometimes. Like, I'm in the mood, sometimes I'm not. Right here, I'm showing you the euphoria look that I am uh, duplicating or replicating, whatever. It's super gorgeous. We're going to do this look today. And I'm using the Truly Madly Deeply ColourPop palette. As you can tell, I am a drugstore clean and we're gonna use uh this shade right here i forgot what it was called but it's like the darker uh shade in the palette and so yeah i'm going to be blending that in in my crease just blending it out honestly guys this look is super simple and and clean it's not even that hard i literally use like literally two colors and i use one brush and two brushes Two colors simple as that I'm blending it out right here in this step and um, I wanted to leave it in there and that is the finished product I'm just blending it out a little more Ugh, blending is so annoying guys I have no patience for blending sometimes <laughs> oh my gosh yeah it's weird but yeah I'm actually using 
the Airspun Loose uh, highlighter right here from my, um, the shiny part. Um, I freaking forgot. My lid. There you go. My lid. Oh my god. Brain fart in today. But yeah, um, if you guys hear me talking or you see me talking, I'm just singing because I had music in the background. Sorry about that. <laughs> if you don't mind anybody else listening to music while they do makeup, I'm sure every girl in the world does that. But you know your girl does that too. But um, yeah, guys, I use the Airspun. And right here, I'm using the Lash Paradise along with these two eyeliners. Um, I use the, la, 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 the freaking Coke bottle shaped eyeliner. This eyeliner, the very first one that I use, I'm over here looking at it, is the LA Colors Liquid Liner. It works super well for getting that initial shape um, in the outer part of my eye. And then for this inner part of my eye, I love to use the one I'm using right now is the Talia Deluxe. That one is super bomb, guys. I've been using it since middle school. Literally, I think it's like $2.00. And it's super matte. One thing I would say is if you are very heavy handed and you like to just pack on and pack on and pack on, it could get a little cracky, honestly, but what eyeliner doesn't. But yeah, I'm just right here. I'm perfecting it. I'm super, ah. <laughs> I like to be super precise. And right here, these, you could get them on Amazon. I use the duo, um, how do you say it? La la la, the duo white um, eyelash glue. To apply the rhinestones like I was saying I got those rhinestones on Amazon guys I'll link them below um, yeah so right here I'm just applying them I wanted to show you guys like me applying them little by little step by step honestly this part took the longest oh my god these rhinestones look guys they're so beautiful but fudge man they take so long, like mad props to the girlies out there that take so much time doing their makeup, applying all these different pearls and rhinestones because, oh no guys, it is something else, let me tell you. This look took me like I think two hours and a half, like, or maybe like two hours, I'm not sure, but this most definitely took the longest and that's the final look right here on my eye. I freaking love it, dude. It looks so pretty. Ah, right here, I'm using the Milani Conceal and Perfect. I love this foundation. I stopped using it for a while. I went back to it, but I'm blending it out right here. Uh, me personally, uh, actually, I forgot to tell you guys what color that was that I'm using. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. It's warm beige. So if you want to pause the video and look at it, but if not, it's in warm beige. Um, but yeah, right here, I'm just blending it out. I take forever blending things out and I'm using that same elf concealer that you saw earlier under my eyes Oh, I was super heavy-handed today Honestly, I think I was super nervous because I was filming a video and I was like, ugh, I was overthinking everything But yeah guys, I'm over here dancing like, I'm like hey, hey. <laughs> I'm getting into it as I'm looking at myself <laughs> Right here. I'm baking with the air spun under my eyes and honestly I bake under my eyes, um, my upper lip, I'm on my chin, down my nosy, and a little bit between my eyebrows and like the center of my forehead. I don't think I show it, but I just want to let you guys know like where I like to bake personally. See, I'm like baking at the top. There we go. Like, oh, yay. I'm glad I showed you. And right there is the Neutrogena Skin Clearing face powder I like to apply that like while my while I'm baking and then I like to use a little um I think that's an NYU uh that was a bronzer right here I'm using the Huda Beauty palette for my inner corners my there we go yeah I forgot what the name of that palette was Jesus Jesus man this is a horrible voiceover I'm sorry guys <laughs> right there I'm using positions formula to bronzy it up a little more um yeah you're probably like oh my gosh she uses so many powders like jesus christ <laughs> uh, but yeah right here i'm just like powdering it up you know the other one was to like give it a little bronzy bronze bring life this one's more of a little like contour moment you know what i'm saying a little contour um yeah i'm just singing right there guys sorry about that <laughs> Oh goodness, and then I'm contouring underneath my my chin as well. 
And honestly, guys, I'm going to list the products down below. Um, yeah, just so you guys could have a reference. Because I know I was horrible about mentioning, um, you know, how I was, like, contouring and whatnot. But there I go, contouring even more. Contouring, contouring, contouring. <laughs> And right here, there we go. We're going back into that same ColourPop palette and using those two eyeshadows as a blush. <sighs> Call me crazy, but I really love this as a blush just because I, I don't really have a blush right now. Right here, I'm using the Whitney Simmons Tarte Collection. I freaking love this lipstick. It's like a glossy, lip balmy, lipsticky, lip glossy type of lipstick and it sits so good on the skin honestly guys i love this collab with whitney simmons i bought the thicket stick it nyx um eyebrow brush jelly type of thing i forgot i don't know what it is it's supposed to make your eyebrows look thicker thickening brow mascara right here i have the ioni um lashes i freaking love this brand of lashes they really do it for me. I would say they're my favorite brand along with Beauty Creations. But I'll go ahead and let you guys know the style in the description below. But here I'm just applying them. Um, and right here we're going in with the Naked Illuminate, Illuminated um, Highlighter. It's like a blush highlighter. Let me actually, I have it right here. Let me go ahead and let you guys know which one I'm using. This is in... Aurora. Oh, that's so cute. That's my cat's name, but there you go guys. It's the Aurora blush Urban Decay highlighter and it's super bomb. My sister gave it to me um, as a present. I freaking love it. It's so beautiful. And there we are. There we are. Finishing up the look here guys. I'm finalizing it. I wanted to, yeah, there we go. I wanted to dip into a powder just to brighten my eyes little face powder moment there we are little close-ups of the makeup before I go try to do cute little 90s look gotcha okay bye guys